Well, welcome to this UK drug testing presentation. It's a new product which is a combined test for fentanyl and xylazine. Now fentanyl everybody is increasingly familiar with a uh, common opiate analgesic which is causing real drugs of abuse issues uh, mainly in North America but increasingly in the UK. And xylazine is another veterinary anaesthetic which is increasing in prevalence. Uh, certainly in the UK these two drugs are starting to emerge as problematic drugs of abuse. This new combined test screens for both, uh, so you'll get two control, sorry, one control line and two test lines with this. And the beauty of this is that it can also be used on powders or residues or surfaces. So if I wanted to do so, I can use this just by wiping across a surface or immersing into powder residues that I come across. And you're looking to saturate the end um, part of this test strip, this, this dark appearance, uh, just if I bring that into focus, let me just see if we can get a view on that. It's the distance end, this flattened section, if I put it on cross section, this is the results window area. This is where the um, dye is embedded into the test strip and this is the collection. It's slightly furry, it has got a texture to it so that can be used to wipe surfaces as I'm demonstrating here or if you've got powders that you're suspicious of then they can be uh, put onto the end of this test strip. The other way you can test this uh, for xylazine and fentanyl is on a human urine sample or any other liquid that you suspect may have the uh, agents in it and when you're ready to do that test you just dip it in um, to the sample and leave it there for between 5 and 10 seconds. I'm just going to allow this to absorb sufficient fluid to start running and you can see the central section where the results are going to come starting to turn pink as the liquid osmotically travels up towards the handle end. So when it's been dipped in either the urine sample that you're testing for fentanyl or xylazine or if you are clearing a white surface, wiping a surface or a powder, then you would use a cold, clean tap water to run the test. You just lay that flat on a non-absorbent surface and you come back and read the result at between three and eight minutes. So let's leave this now to run and then we will show you how to interpret the results at the correct read time for this test. Well, this test strip has now been running for uh, five minutes. Uh, the read time is between five minutes and uh, maximum 10 minutes, so around five to eight minutes. Um, the fentanyl label has just been cut a little long on this one, so I'm just gonna fold that back for you to see. There is the control line at the top aspect of the uh, narrow section, the central section of this uh, test strip. And then we've got two test lines. Now. The one nearest the control line is the xylothene uh, test and the one nearest the dip end is the fentanyl, both of which are clearly negative for this uh, test strip. So that's how you interpret your results. Uh, the examples are given in the instruction sheet that will be sent out with these, but just, just be aware that if you see that folding back of the fentanyl um, label, that may over cover the control line just something to be aware of when you are running this test thanks for watching